Well, it's been a hot topic for weeks, legalizing the numbers game. Today an, exec today, an executive at a major resort on Paradise Island expressed his views on the issue. Aldovis Munnings has that story. Since it's illegal for Bahamas to gamble anywhere in the country, Kersner International ensures that casino patrons at the Atlantis Resort follow all the rules. Curzon's president and chief executive officer, George Marcantonis, told reporters Monday that the company doesn't get involved in setting any parameters when it comes to the country's gaming. He's pleased, though, that the proposed referendum on gaming is now a national conversation. I don't anticipate that there's going to be any discussion about actual legalization of gaming for locals. Mm -hmm. We follow the rules of the country. And as I've said before, if it is ever legalized, for locals, we'd love to have them in our businesses, as I know so would our colleagues at Bahama and probably at Bimini and wherever else we have gaming. But I don't anticipate that this is likely to be approved in the short term. Regarding actual casino gambling, Kersner's top executive did note that many of the guests who come here take advantage of the casino games. He did say, however, that their peak season here at the casino usually happens during the U.S. holidays. It, it varies between 15 and 27 percent of our occupancy, depending on the time of the year. But you've got to know that that's people who, those numbers that I just mentioned, are people who are coming here specifically because of the gaming. There are numerous other people who are staying here who use the gaming as an amenity, just as you would go outside to the pool decks, you know, a cloudy day, a rainy day, you're walking through the casino and you think you're feeling lucky. The Paradise Island Casino features 100 table games, including roulette, craps, blackjack, mini baccarat and baccarat, Caribbean stud poker, and let it ride. Also known as the Bahamas' largest casino, the gaming facility also offers over 750 of the newest slot machines, each equipped with a state-of-the-art player tracking system. Now, Atlantis' casino usually gets an annual million-dollar upgrade, and that's not just on games, but infrastructure, too. We find that casino customers tend to want to play the newest versions of whatever is out there. So we will probably turn over in the region of 100 to 150 slot machines every year, bringing in new stuff, taking out the old stuff. Um, we can track which machines are more popular and which do better. We follow what happens in other gaming jurisdictions. So if there are games that are very successful in Atlantic City or that are very successful in Las Vegas, it stands to reason that our customers who are coming from North America will like them too. Altavis Munnings, ZNS News.